Hi, my name's Kavita Varshney. I'm an emergency and disaster medicine specialist in Sydney. Heat waves are when the highest and lowest temperatures are unusually hot for three days in a row. When the nights are hot, we anticipate the next day to be hotter earlier. The Bureau of Meteorology, known as the BOM, has an app which will notify you if there is a heat wave. Heat waves can have a significant impact on health. Sadly, more people die from heat related events than bushfires, storms, or floods combined. The body, especially the kidney and the heart, have to work harder when it's hot, and this can affect everyone, even those who are healthy. We can think of the effects of heat on our health as being a spectrum. It can start with mild symptoms such as thirst or dehydration, can expand to feeling dizzy or having a headache, and eventually we stop sweating and can become confused. These are dangerous symptoms and we definitely need to seek care. There's actually lots that you can do. You can stay out of the sun if that's possible, wear loose, light clothing, drink lots of water, stay in the cool room of your house, spritz yourself with, um, with a, a bottle of water and place your feet in a cool bucket of water. All of these will help to keep you cool. Additionally, you can consult with your GP as we come up to the summer months to find out what the impacts of some of your medication could be um, on your health related to heat. For example, some medications impair sweating. Um, also speak with your pharmacist about how best to store your medications. And finally, keep in touch with your family and friends to make sure that you're all safe. Everybody can be affected by heat, but as we age, it becomes harder for our body to manage that heat. Contact your GP and make a plan, and be aware that as you get older, you will be affected more by the heat. Babies and children are also particularly at risk. They are unable to tell us if they're feeling too hot, if they want to remove clothing, or if they're thirsty. Parents and caregivers need to be really mindful of this and ensure to keep the fluid intake up. People with chronic disease, particularly blood pressure, chronic kidney disease and diabetes, um, please again be aware and speak with your specialists about what uh, steps you can take to mitigate for the heat. Others who can be affected include those who are working or exercising outdoors and also those who are homeless or living alone. As we prepare for this upcoming summer, it's important to get some contact numbers ready and have them available should you need them. The first, obviously, is to contact triple zero in case of an emergency. The next is to have your GP's contact number ready and available. You can also contact Health Direct on 1800 022 222 and they'll give you general health advice. The Mental Health Line on 1800 011 511 is also available for mental health advice and support. You can find more information and tips on how to stay safe during the heat on the New South Wales Health website www.health.nsw.gov.au forward slash beat the heat.